This is my personal comment on Anthony F. Sanchez's controversial book, UFO Highway, which came out in 2011. Despite having been involved in the so-called UFO research for many, many years, I am the first to admit that I have found no answers when it comes to this puzzling phenomenon. Yes, I began my involvement with this field since around 1961. By the way, the United States government has stated that, quote, many scientists and mathematicians have looked with a statistical mindset at the question of whether life exists beyond Earth and have come to the conclusion that the odds are pretty high that somewhere among the trillions and trillions of stars in the universe there is a planet other than ours that is home to life. However, many have also noted that the odds of us making contact with any of them, any intelligent ones, are extremely small given the distances involved. But that's all statistics and speculation." Unquote. But I say that anything is possible. I cannot and will not dismiss anything. I try my best to be open-minded about some books on UFOs, aliens, and conspiracies. One such book that I'm quite fascinated with is Anthony F. Sanchez's controversial book, UFO Highway, which came out in 2011. So much so that I offered to write a short forward to this book. Regardless of whether his findings and his alleged source are credible or not. As I stated clearly in the forward, I personally have not yet seen a single solid, physical, tangible, irrefutable documentary evidence that there is a physical joint U.S. alien operated underground base in Dulce, New Mexico. But I could be wrong. There seem to be, at least to me, some circumstantial evidences that something is there in Dulce. What that something is, I do not know and I do not claim to know. There are many reports and testimonies from many individuals in the local Hikari Apache community of Dulce, an area filled with deep-rooted cultural and spiritual beliefs. Could collective beliefs ever create another level of reality somewhere in time and space? As I insinuated in the foreword to this book, could it be that there is a, quote, highway, unquote, through which other realities could be interacting with the human psyche in certain locations? Is there an alternate reality lurking and interacting with the human psyche behind the physical facade of Dulce and its surroundings, and by further extension, the entire region east of the Four Corners areas of New Mexico, and the entire New Mexico itself? Yes, this is all nothing but speculation. We may never know. Yes, I highly recommend UFO Highway because it is not only a great and fascinating read, but it's a psychological eye-opener and makes us want to ask questions, questions that could very well affect our understanding of what reality ultimately is. This is Norio Hayakawa of Rio Rancho, New Mexico.